Let me take this opportunity to greet uh, the people of Malakwena and uh, indicate that uh, today is the 15th of April. It's our last day of our IDP and budget roadshows, which are the mayoral roadshows of which we have started with this program on the 3rd of uh, April. Today is our last day. Uh, I also want to indicate that uh, Moalakwena uh, is having 32 wards, of which uh, our IDP budget and road shows were classified into uh, different clusters and different uh, areas. We have started in the area of Riboni, uh, we went to Bagambek, we went to Mapela, we went to Mkopane. Today we are back in Mkopano, which is our last day. Uh, I want to indicate that uh, the purpose of our IDP and road shows, uh, we are guided by the municipal systems at Chapter 4, which obliges <coughs> all the municipalities in the country to have the, this kind of consultations with the communities, where communities are expected to tell us as the council or the municipality in terms of their expectations and their needs. And uh, also, uh, as the municipality, we are making proposals to them as members of the communities in terms of uh, the projects that uh, we want to implement to them. Remember, our municipality mostly we are funded by the, we are a grant funded uh, municipality which uh, we are having the conditional grant, uh, municipal infrastructure grant, water and sanitation front, water and sanitation uh, infrastructure grant and also regional bulk and uh, infrastructure grant. So those are the grants that are, fu are funding us as the municipality to deliver water, roads and sanitation to the people of Malabwe. Safe to say that uh, out of uh, 178 villages and uh, two townships including the extensions, we have traveled throughout uh, the length and breadth of uh, our municipality of which we had uh, all the challenges that were raised by members of the community but most of the challenges that uh, we are experiencing is the issue of water is the issue of roads issue of uh, sanitation issue of uh, the sanitation I mean issue of uh, the high mass lights issue of bush clearing uh, and so forth but uh, as, as the municipality we, we had their concerns we had their inputs, we had their advices, because working together with the communities, we are going to end up finding a solution in each and every challenge that uh, we are experiencing. But I also want to indicate that uh, there are some other areas where members of the community are so happy about uh, the projects that uh, we have implemented in the areas. Uh, I want to indicate that uh, in Mahalakwena local municipality, the promises that we made to the people of Mahalakwena in terms of the projects that we said to them we are going to implement for the financial year 2023-2024, I can proudly and safely say all those projects are under implementation. Even though we are experiencing challenges here and there, most of them are finished, most of them are at 90%, others are at 50 percent and so forth but uh, i also want to indicate that uh, all the challenges that were raised by members of the community we have noted them and the other thing that i want to to indicate that uh, in moalakwena we are so blessed to have uh, uh, some minds around um, Kopane, of which we are having anglo-american we are having uh, ivan plus that uh, at the moment uh, uh, in as far as the social and labor plans, we can uh, safely say we are having something tangible that is on the table that we have signed between ourselves as the municipality, the mine, members of the community, our traditional leaders, including Department of Minerals and Energy. So out of all uh, these uh, projects that uh, we are having together with uh, our mines, uh, at least this time around with Anglo-American uh, Malakwena for some years, they took us into confidence. We have approved a uh, social and labor plan of about 500 million. Uh, those of the people that are staying around Malakwena and uh, 
Limpopo Water Park District and South Africa, those are the art that are on the social space or on the social media. They saw that uh, this year, on the, the 23rd of uh, February, we were having an event together with uh, the Anglo-American where they were handing over a quite number of yellow fleas, the graders, the, the cherry pickers for electricity, uh, including the, the jet patcher truck that we are using to uh, to patch the potholes of which we started last week. We were busy with the process of the training and buying the material, but now as I'm speaking with you, the jet patcher is hard at work. We have, we have started with uh, uh, patching the potholes and in so not long, uh, together with Anglo-American, we are going to finalize uh, the procurement and the finalization of uh, uh, resealing of about uh, six streets uh, around town of Mukopane and also route agents sealing Popo through the memorandum of understanding or the memorandum of agreement that we are going to sign with them. They are going to augment what we are having together with the uh, Anglo-American, but it's not necessarily the yellow fleet only, but uh, remember we are investing in education and other projects around Mapela and the surrounding. We are still going to have uh, uh, the paving brick uh, plant that we are going to construct in uh, Rivone, but uh, it will be done in, done in the outer years necessarily because uh, many people are aware that uh, Anglo-American is having uh, some other challenges, the financial challenges, uh, platinum is not doing well. And on the sides of uh, Ivan Platz, uh, the one of the biggest projects that we have piloted is the Masodi wastewater treatment plant that is in Masodi where the mine uh, decided to donate and assist us as the municipality to build, to build that big plant that is going to assist us as the municipality in terms of the, the wastewater that will be coming from the areas going to that uh, wastewater treatment plant necessarily because they want to utilize the grey uh, water area in the mine for their operations, but also uh, it's also going to benefit us as the municipality because uh, the grey water that they are going to utilize, we are having an agreement with them that uh, they are going to compensate or pay a certain amount of money to the municipality for us to collect uh, revenue, whilst on the other hand, we are going to assist uh, the people of the doorsteps uh, communities around uh, that area. And we last year, around the 15th of September, we have signed another agreement with uh, the mine, Ivan Platz, where they are going to make the connections of the pipes from around town, Sukhakapem, Masodi, and Mahuilirim, where those pipes, they are going to direct the entire waste straight to a uh, Masodi wastewater treatment plant of which we will no longer have a challenges of uh, waste around. But as I conclude, I want to indicate that uh, many challenges that were raised, we were able to resolve them. But uh, I want to conscientize uh, and encourage our community people in terms of the, the sewer spillages. Uh, we were able to come up with a, a a, a, an immediate solution and we are in the process of coming up with a long-term solution. But one of the challenges that we are having is that uh, we are experiencing foreign objects in the storages. So we are encouraging our people to know and uh, uh, avoid uh, putting unnecessary object or foreign object in the, in the uh, storages because they will block from time to time. So once that process uh, uh, is there, the very same communities are the ones that will come to us and say uh, the storage is a problem. Whilst when we resolve, they put uh, the unnecessary uh, 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 objects in the storage. And in terms of the uh, waste collection, through MIG, the, transfer, the transversal uh, process, we were able to buy trucks. Uh, for waste collection, the bins and the skim bins, where we can't give any excuse as the municipality now in terms of uh, waste collection. We are doing very well, and there is another challenge of the bush clearing, where the Department of Community Services is hard at work. 
but we are encouraging our people as we were telling them here to assist us in identifying some of the areas where we are having the bush clearing so that our manager technical service community services can be in a position to unleash the team we have started already and deal with the, the issue of the bush clearing around um, Kopane. Uh, our graders that are here, we have developed a program where we are going to do graveling around the area of Mukopani, but we are also encouraging our people, working together with the ward committees, the ward councillors, and the municipality to inform us the areas where we are having challenges. But uh, most of the roads around uh, uh, Mahalakwena, especially in the rural villages, are the Dui roads of the Department of Public Works are the district roads uh, through the entity which is RAL. But we are not sitting as the municipality and say we cannot assist them. We are trying by all means to coordinate meetings together with the province so that they can get the necessary assistance. But ours is to deal with the, our own roads, our internal streets, the roads that are going to the municipal, to the cemeteries, the tax roads, of which the better part of the tax roads around Mahalakwena are having the third road, even though we are having a challenges here and there of the maintenance. But now, with the necessary equipment that we are having, we are in a better position to assist our communities. But uh, we are aware Mahalakwena is very broad and big. We can't uh, do all these things uh, in a day or in a week or in a month. But uh, the material that we are having, the equipment, the yellow fluid, we have distributed to all areas around uh, Mahalakwena to assist our communities. In terms of uh, uh, electricity, as the municipality now, we are in a better position to assist uh, the people of Mahalakwena. Uh, first of all, we will start by fixing our street lights in town, our robots, and uh, the issue of maintaining our high mass lights in the villages and the surrounding area of Mukopane. We are having a full capacity now from the electrical department. We are having a competent manager there who is a registered engineer of electricity and we see a lot of uh, progress and development of addressing uh, electricity challenges including the lines that we are having to dior and dry, the issue of uh, capacitating our substation and so forth. One that I want to indicate is that uh, as the municipality we are encouraging members of the community to, to pay the services like I've indicated earlier before that uh, as grant funded municipality the money that we receive from uh, uh, the water and sanitation cox and so forth are the conditional grants obviously when they give us that money is directed somewhere so we are encouraging members of the community around town around Rivon, around macquillar and around the extensions to pay the services so that even ourselves as the municipality we must be in a better position to give them proper services, especially on the side of maintenance and so forth, because uh, we receive uh, equitable share money uh, on a quarterly basis. Sometimes it's after three months, sometimes it's after six months, and the money that we are receiving, the better part of the money, we are utilizing it to pay uh, the salaries of the employees and the councillors. But once our communities pay the services, even ourselves as the municipality, we will be in a better position to give them quality and proper services that they deserve. Thank you. Hello.